Brooklyn Nets have plenty of optimism around them after acquiring Ben Simmons, despite even the horrendous form and recent run over their last few games, as they have struggled without KD, James Harden not being available through stretches and now, of course, being traded, and Kyrie Irving still only being available for road games. However, despite this optimism, I want to talk in the video about how things could fall apart for the Brooklyn Nets moving forward over the next couple of years with this group and how things from each of their core three players of Simmons, Kyrie, and KD, although very much could still be positive, could lead in a very negative direction. It is worth noting I don't necessarily believe this is what will happen, but just for a bit of fun of conversation, I wanted to make the case for how things could really fall apart for the Brooklyn Nets. Let's start with Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving, of course, has not played much this season after not being available until the new year, and then now still only playing on road games. As of the time being, and for the time being, Kyrie is not going to be able to play four home games in Brooklyn for the playoffs or moving forward. Eventually, that will change. But when eventually is, we really don't know. This understandably has caused much of frustration within the Brooklyn Nets organization, within some Brooklyn Nets players, as has been expressed with James Harden and some of the frustrations he expressed before being traded and unofficially officially asking for a trade, and could also lead to some changes with Kyrie Irving and where he is playing down the road. Kyrie Irving can opt out of his contract at the end of this 2021-22 NBA season. And so given the fact that he has expressed frustrations, understandably so for not playing in Brooklyn this year and not being able to play in home games, if that continues moving into this year's free agency, it is very possible that we see Kyrie Irving opt out of his contract and opt not to re-sign with the Brooklyn Nets, instead moving elsewhere, where he can be an 82-game per season player. Kyrie Irving could leave the duo partnership of him and KD that joined a few years ago. Ben Simmons is sure to be a better fit in Brooklyn than he was going to be and has been in Philly, as he won't be around an all-star big man. But there is still no guarantee that he will have a good fit in Brooklyn or that we will see the offensive improvements that many are hoping to see from Ben Simmons still, even as we are this far into his career. You can make the argument that this is going to be a great fit for Ben Simmons and he has a lot of spacing and shooters around him, but that is only if they use Ben Simmons in the right way and use him as in a Draymond Green type role. As many have pointed out before, that's probably his best role, but there is no guarantee he is in that role, and if he isn't used in that role, then you could argue this is going to be a pretty rough fit as well. The Brooklyn Nets do not have great floor spacing bigs. Uh, they do have some who can shoot a bit, but Blake has been extremely inconsistent. Three, Marcus Aldridge is a mid-range guy, far from a three-point shooter at any stretch. And ultimately, he is going to be playing alongside a guy who can't shoot the three-point shot at all or not well a good portion of his minutes. Now, sure, it's not going to be an all-star big who's going to be logging up the paint, but it's not going to be that level of spacing or there's only him that can't shoot the three in any given lineup unless they run Ben Simmons slash KD at the five in some lineups, which in the playoffs, unless you're playing against Joel Embiid in the Eastern Conference, I would probably advise to do. But again, if these are not the decisions they make, the fit for Ben Simmons could be questionable. It's also worth noting it's a better fit for Ben and alongside Embiid. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be a seamless fit and a great fit for Ben Simmons. And that doesn't mean that Ben Simmons is going to become a more aggressive and assertive player on the offensive end than we have seen in previous years. There is potential for the Ben Simmons fit to be great. But if not used properly... There's potential it doesn't fit well at all. The third concern is KD hasn't exactly been overly available over the last few years. He has routinely struggled with injuries since his significant injuries in the end of his time with Golden State. He has only played 71 games since joining Brooklyn three years ago. He has struggled with multiple injuries over the last two years in Brooklyn, only having played 71 games over those two seasons. 
KD has played well. There is no doubt about that. He has been good when available. But at nearly 7 feet at 33 years of age and as someone who seems to continue to get injured over the last couple of years, a decline is not out of the poss- out of the realm of possibility. And the fact that he just isn't available is going to hurt this Brooklyn team, especially if Kyrie Irving ends up opting out and leaving. He has already signed the extension, unlike Kyrie and James Harden had. He is on a max contract for the next four years after this season. And if that's without Kyrie, and in a situation that doesn't have a great situation for Ben Simmons, depending on how he is utilized, that contract may end up looking like a bad contract on a team that isn't great, more so than a team that is looking to push for its title. It's also worth noting that just generally this team is constructed as quite old and is built for now, not built for a couple of years down the road. Even just a couple of years from now, this team, if con- stays as currently constructed, is not going to be as good. Eight rotational players are at or over the age of 30, not including Kyrie, who will be turning 30 in March and has his own injury concerns throughout his career. This doesn't bode well for future assets or for trades, alongside the fact they've also traded away many first-round picks and second-round picks from getting rid of DeAndre Jordan's contract, of course, acquiring James Harden, which they've now gotten a couple of first-round picks back from. And it doesn't bode well to their future if things start to fall apart, with the first domino potentially being Kyrie Irving leaving the summer. It also means their window was now, with this current roster. This season, the 2021-22 NBA season, could very well be the best opportunity that remains for this Brooklyn Nets team to win a title. And that is with Kyrie potentially only playing for road games, assuming that mandates do not change. Again, this is just the case for things completely falling apart. I don't think things will go this strategically bad for Brooklyn. I don't think Brooklyn were ever going to be not a contender for the majority of this Kevin Durant contract. But there is a very real possibility that Kyrie leaves the summer. There is a very real possibility KD continues to struggle with injuries and doesn't play 60, 70 plus games a year on a regular basis. And there's also a very real possibility that we don't really see much of a different Ben Simmons than we did in Philadelphia. I would like to think KD is still productive for the next three to four years, and I would think Ben Simmons is still going to be better in Brooklyn than he was in Philly. But it is worth noting, it is not all sunshine and roses here in Brooklyn moving forward. And there are some things they need to think about in the immediate future and down the road, how they want to integrate Ben Simmons, and most importantly in the short term, what is the future of Kyrie Irving and what happens and what, how do they fill that loss if he does end up walking considering they won't even have cap space to do anything about it if he does walk as they'll still be over luxury tax. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below about what you expect for the Brooklyn Nets this season and moving forward. This is the case for the Brooklyn Nets not being good. Again, this is not what I think will happen, but it is the case that I am making. Let me know what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.